Okay, she's a 10. Hottest person you've ever seen in your entire life. Your sister. <laughs> they divorced, like, right after recording that, in case you didn't know. Turns out the sister was always the backup plan. Hi again, guys. And that last thing I just said, completely made it up. It's kind of fun to make up little scenarios your head and then just lie about them happening. Speaking of which, have you heard about this they're a 10 but blank trend? You basically create a person in your head, give them a score of attractiveness from 1 to 10, and then you add a caveat. If they have a lower score, it's usually something that would bring their score up. And if they have a higher score, the but is something that you generally would not want to see in someone. You know, something like, they're a 10, but they're actually just human remains. I figure this could be a fun way to look at some cool text posts and also slowly reveal what messed up priorities I have and what I look for in a person. If you enjoy this vid, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to another one like it. And you know, when I think about it, the thing I think makes somebody the most hot is being subscribed to my channel with notifications on, which only like 18% of you are kind of messed up. Please consider subscribing and hitting that bell. It takes like two seconds, is free, and if you are 22 and over, it would make me parasocially love you. He's a 10, but he wears his Crocs in sports mode. What's so bad about putting them babies in four-wheel drive? To me, this is like saying, he's a 10, but he wears a seatbelt when he's in a car. Like, I'm sorry if following safety precautions is not hot enough for you, but when you're doing something dangerous like driving or running in Crocs, you should be doing what you can to not get hurt. I'll tell you, he's not a 10 if he tries to sprint without having those grippers firmly secured. She's a 10, but she's deeply and visibly unhinged. And yeah, she's just wearing a vagina slay minions fit. Something about the eye they used in this outfit is terrifying. It has that weird illusion where no matter what angle it's being looked at from, it feels like it's staring right the fuck at you. It's also half-lidded, not in like a seductive bedroom eyes way, but in a super judgmental, I know what you did type of way. It just screams, I saw what you did to that family of four behind the local Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria a few decades ago, quite. He's a 10, but doesn't understand FNAF lore. This is just not a problem for me. Look at this damn thing. Now that I've put this figure in a video, I can business expense it. Thanks for the tax break, guys. That is my boyfriend, by the way, and in case you're interested, I'm doing a fan art competition in my Discord, link in the description, where whoever draws the best ship art of me and Springtrap gets free merch. Nothing too god-awful, please, but you know what I mean. I don't think I could have made myself sound like a weirder person than how I just did, but it already came out of my mouth. Regardless, the contest closes on Friday, so this is stupidly last minute. Just figured I'd set your ass on fire over this like Springtrap has been on more than one occasion. Good times. He's a 10, but he's a fictional character who is dead. I mean, yeah, I guess. For this next bit, I want to dedicate a section to people doing this trend who just aren't challenging themselves. They'll say an imaginary person is a 10, and then instead of some shit that makes this person worse, it's just a compliment or a cute little personality quirk. According to me, you guys are not making yourselves suffer enough, and I'm gonna make sure that you do. She's a 10, but healing from things she didn't deserve to go through. You got this, queen, and you gotta be yanking my dick. This is just a reskin version of one of those tweets that Thirst Twitter accounts would put out. They say some shit like, I love you so much, babe. We'll be together forever, and then they're talking to their 100,000 followers, every single one of which who feel personally validated by the text on their phone. It's very parasocial, and is essentially what I do with my Twitch chat on twitch.tv slash quite, where I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. He's a 10, but can cook, so he's a 1 million. You're just listing things you want in a man. If he washes dishes after, he's a billion. I don't disagree, I would also like a man who cooks and cleans, but that's not the point of this. You're supposed to share what you'd sacrifice for the dude who is a 10, not tell us why they are the perfect package. God, some some people just want to have it all. Well, guess what? The real world isn't like that. Your man's either going to look good and own a Fortune 500 company, or scream at a camera in his room alone and hide his face from everybody he talks shit about on the internet. He's a 10. He respects me, but he knows how to slut me out, God. You're just bragging. They didn't even try to set this up as a what-if scenario. They're just like, yeah, I'm genuinely just with a good man right now. You aren't. Must suck to be you. But that's, like, not my problem, because I'm not you. I'm me, and being me is really sick right about now. He's a 10, but he whispers, good good soup after eating you out. Again, this is very obviously just listing what you want in somebody else. Good soup is a very specific thing to want said after getting your pussy devoured. Either you thought about it in your free time and thought, yeah, it'd be neat if someone did that, or somebody did do that shit, and now it's stuck into the inside of your skull like gum to a desk to the point that you're making tweets about it under the cover of he's a 10 setup. This reply was the best response you could probably give to that though. It's rude if you don't compliment the chef. Okay, back to the actual scenarios. You know, like this next one, which is notoriously realistic. He's a 10, but this is the lead up to his room. 
I know a guy just like this, and I'm told that he lays some of the best pipe around. I wouldn't know myself, it's just what I've heard, but if you're watching this video, you know who you are. One thing I don't get about this tweet is that it was in response to a post asking for he's a 10, but specifically for BTS members. Is this fucking Young Cox actual bedroom collection, or am I missing something? Y'all should really feel grateful, because trying to find these posts on Twitter was a lot of waiting through a sea of K-pop specific ones. People were just doing highlight reels of he's a 10, but he constructed a brick wall on national television last year. Or just other random moments like that that I had exactly fuck all knowledge about. She's a 10, but she prefers the airplane aisle to the window seat because she's afraid of asking people to get up when she needs to pee. Okay, this is kind of me. I'm an aisle seat god defender, but let me explain myself before you tell me I'm afraid of human interaction. I am, but that's not why I like the aisle seat. The reason is twofold, actually. A, I'm horrendously short, so I don't need much more legroom on a plane, but that won't stop me from taking it anyways. In the aisle, when my toes aren't getting run over by the snack cart, let me get just that. In B, I'm someone who likes to stay aggressively hydrated, and because of that, I be pissing buckets on the daily. I legit will get past airport security, and the first thing I do is buy the biggest fucking water bottle I can and bring it on the flight with me. The tiny little Costco sample cups they hand out mid-flight are just not enough. I pee multiple times while airborne. If pissing on a plane was all it took to join the Mile High Country Club, I would be a platinum tier member. So it's not just that I'm scared to tell people I need to pee, it's just convenience because I have to do it a lot. She's a 10, but she has to watch videos while she eats or she will die. <laughs> okay, let's not lie to ourselves. This is like saying he's a 10, but breathes air. A lot of you are probably eating a meal right now. In current year, everybody has to watch a funny YouTube video or an episode of a show while they eat, or their body just forgets how to chew and digest food. If it tries to consume without something playing on the stream, it panics and you die immediately. God, that whole last sentence felt like the summary for a shitty dystopian young adult novel. He's a 10, but he has two monitors and an RGB setup. I typed the script for this video on a light up keyboard between two separate monitors. You see, my editor Nina helped me find some of these posts, and I know for a fact you chose this one because you were laughing at me specifically when you read it, you prick. I'm not talking to the audience. I'm talking to you, Nina. You can fucking hear me. I know you. He's a 10, but he makes forum posts about competitive Pokemon? Again, this definitely counts as targeted workplace harassment, Nina. I'm putting you through a sensitivity training unit after this video goes up. It's only okay when I, the YouTuber, bullies other people on the internet. You are not allowed to make fun of me in return. She's a 10 out of 10, but once a month, she wants to piss on your face, but it's in the shower. I vote yes. She can piss on my face once a, once a month. If she's a 10 out of 10, for the right one, dude, piss on my fucking face. I'll, I'll keep my eyes open too. Dude, this guy made up the scenario, answered it before anyone else could, and said, guys, I know this is out of nowhere, and I definitely don't want to get peed on, but for the right girl, if she wanted to pee on my face, I would let her pee on my face. And for her, I'd even keep my eyes open and let it get inside my corneas. I know this is a huge sacrifice I'm willing to make, getting peed on, that thing I definitely don't want to happen to me, but if a girl did want to pee on me, she would still be a 10 in my books. I'd definitely let her do that shit or piss, as it were. She's a seven, but she talks like Jar Jar Binks. Misa want cock. No. Misa want daddy's cock deeper inside me. Stop it. That wasn't me even reading the message. That was just my actual reaction to me. <laughs> me saying those words in that order is always going to be recorded on the internet now, huh? I will die, and that clip will still exist. I think this is one of the best types of setups for a he or she's a 10 kind of scenario. Because depending on who you ask, this could go either way. A seven is a good looking fella, I would say. So if somebody isn't into Jar Jar Binks speech, it's a question of this seven is enough. But for somebody who wants to be talked to in a really, really specific way, this would shoot the Binks impersonator to an easy 10. How many other people are you going to find willing to do that shit for you and pet? This is the one for you, my friend, because God knows there is not more than one of these types of people in the fucking world. He's a 10, but he has a Twitter, said the hypocrite from their Twitter account. They even had the gall to put a sad face at the end like it was an actual deal breaker. It's you. You're talking about yourself. Every single one of us on Twitter are unfuckable to everybody outside of it. In a weird twist way, we have to keep it in our little family on this one. I mean, with the way Twitter acts half the time, you'd probably already think that we're all inbred. She's a 10, but one side of her bed is reserved for her stuffed animal collection. Look, I won't pretend I don't understand the appeal. I'm known to have a few stuffed creatures in my house at any given time. That's not including the old taxidermied couple I found on the sidewalk once, but they usually don't end up in my bed. The stuffed animals, that is. That would put them on the same level as me. I put them on shelves and on display, usually above me, because that's how I view the stuffed creatures in the hierarchy of my home. You know, 
better than me. Also, my cat would destroy them if I left them at anything below my eye level. Shout out to all the comedians on Twitter who took the she's a 10 as the setup for a joke. You are officially better at my job than me. You're a 10, but it's on the pH scale. In case you didn't finish middle school, meaning everybody who watches my channel, a 10 on the pH scale means you are basic. So this was just a really roundabout way of saying you're bland as hell. You might also be like mild washing detergent, I think. She's a 10, but it's on the GAD7. She is moderately anxious. Okay, the GAD7 is a rough scale to try and figure out how anxious an anxious person is. And this tweet feels like it was written with malicious intent, just to be a bit of a jump scare for anybody reading it. Like, they see these words and they're like, wait a second, this bitch is me. I'm the 10. She's a 10, but she can move stuff with her mind. 11. See, now that joke was funny. Very tongue-in-cheek and innocent, good setup and punchline. Now here's that same punchline with a setup that hurts way more to read. She's a 10, but she turns 11 next week. I'm gonna tap the sign for Twitter self-promo, and as a get-out-of-jail-free card, she's 10? Why are you talking to a girl that young? He's a 10, but this is his bedroom. And if this is his bedroom, then he is Kanye West. He's a 10, but he texts into radio shows to say he's having a kitchen disco and absolutely loving the tunes this afternoon. The tunes are keeping him moving as he paints his garden fences in the boiling hot sun with a cheeky G&T. He says, can we play some Molly Murs? Of course we can, Andy. Here's Troublemaker. This dude is probably also a father of four. I do love really hyper-specific shit like this, but the real thing bringing down his score is the implication. Why are you, as a man, relying on other men to play tunes that you like? Sounds a little fruity. Especially in this day and age where you could have a Spotify subscription and curate your own playlist of all your favorites. It's almost like he wants to be told what he can and can't listen to by the sensual voice on the radio. She's a 10, but she disappears every time I take my pills. I'm really sorry to hear that, bud. If she doesn't stick around for you, then she wasn't the one. Anyways, that's all the tens I've got in the tank for now. That card I mentioned should be on screen. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe with notifications on, or you suck. Don't go after anyone I talked about today, because this is all meant in good fun. Anyways, this has been quite, and I have to learn how many numbers actually come before tens.